Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the PWM Bidirectional Controller DIY Assembly and how to make. Uh, on screen now is the, um, the PWM Bidirectional Controller. We have this unit as a uh, as a standalone whole unit, um, pre-assembled, and we also have it as a kit. You can purchase it on our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. As you can see on screen, the, uh, the unit has a, uh, a, all, all the uh, particular controls, and you can actually uh, hear on screen now, this is uh, like an unpacking of the unit. Uh, this is what you get, all the leads are there, everything is there. Uh, the how to use video is on our website, so you refer to our website and how to use it. Uh, and so it's, it's a complete unit, allows you to test 95% of anything found on cars today. Okay, uh, Some of the units we used to uh, show, you see on screen, a, 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 a USB a memory stick, we don't do that anymore. Uh, we pretty much uh, go to our website. Now, on screen now is the, uh, the how to make, okay? We're talking about the kit form, okay? So um, we sped up uh, the video so that you can actually look at it. Uh, and pretty much uh, we're gonna explain to you how, this is a different unit than the one that you purchase uh, when you buy a complete, fully assembled. Uh, we purchased the unit from the factory already assembled uh, and this is a, a different unit with through holes. You can see these are through hole uh, um, parts, and so it's it's a different process uh, because we get the other the other unit is it's a surface mount uh, parts which are very tiny, very small, and nobody wants to get involved. You know, when you when you're a do-it-yourself, or you don't want to do that, so it doesn't lend itself to. Uh, so anyhow, this is what you get when you purchase the kit, okay, for the do-it-yourselfers that like to build stuff. Uh, and that's part of our market at autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Uh, so we have a market for do-it-yourselfers. We've been catering. Uh, there's another market for this is if you're an inventor, okay, and you want to build stuff, and you want to customize this unit, you can customize if you know your way around electronics. If not, you can hire us. Uh, we actually do customization, you know, uh, and it's on our website, you know, on our website, you can go to on our website and it pretty much describes the two ways to go about customizations. A lot of the, a lot of big companies, they, um, they're big companies that they need special things, you know, so we do that too for big companies. Now, on screen, it's a, uh, a hold, uh, a PC board hold device that you can purchase from Amazon. This is a very inexpensive unit, a little little gadget, you know, that uh, it holds the PC board so that you can, uh, this is again, this is for the do-it-yourselfer. So we're trying to, this video is meant more for the do-it-yourselfer than for the auto mechanic. Auto mechanics don't have the time to do this stuff. Uh, they don't have the knowledge either, you know, most of the time. So this is for, for you guys that, that like to build stuff. Uh, so this is a unit that you can purchase from Amazon. Uh, and it's basically, you know, everything you see there, you can purchase from Amazon. Uh, Amazon is uh, pretty much the king when it comes to the do-it-yourself world, you know. And as you can see, these are through-hole the, uh, the, uh, parts. Uh, so you can, um, the resistors, you know, you uh, solder. They're through-hole. They're easy to mount. Um, there's also uh, the, 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 the surface mount type doesn't lend itself to this uh, sort of thing. You know, you can... You need an oven, blah, blah, blah. You need, you need a bunch of stuff. Um, now um, on screen, you see the different parts. And now it comes to transistors. It has a few transistors. It has, a, it has an IC, an integrated circuit that goes on the unit, uh, which is a, a, the PWM microcontroller, you know, for the, for the unit. This is the other side of the board. As you can see, with this particular gadget, you can actually flip the PC board and resolder it, and it's very nice, very convenient, you know, when you're doing this sort of assembly. Whether you're doing surface, if you're doing surface mount, it's a different issue, you know, because you you don't really do this, you know, you you point, put it on an oven. Now, on screen now, it's uh, the big diode. 
So this unit, just so that you know, is protected. And you're going to see it later in the video. Uh, it's protected with a bunch of with this. That's a huge diode. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, polarity protected. So if you flip the battery and you connect it the wrong way, uh, it's okay. You're going to, nothing gets damaged unless you put power on the on the output. Then where the PWM goes out, and that's a different story. But you got to pay attention to what you're doing, you know. Um, and anyhow, so uh, got a couple of um, uh, capacitors in there. Uh, so the build is pretty much as you see on screen. You uh, solder the, the parts on one side, you solder the parts on the other side, and then you clip the, the leads, the extra leads, you know, when you're, uh, once you finish soldering everything. Uh, then there's a bunch of connectors and we use wires. The wires are not included in the kit. You're expected, but that that's stuff is very inexpensive. You can buy 22 gauge wire, 24 gauge wire, which is very inexpensive. You could probably buy 100 feet of wire and it will cost you maybe 15 bucks. Uh, this is, uh, this kind of wire is the silicone uh, shrouded, it's surrounded by silicone cover, so it's very, very flexible and very soft. Okay, that's what we use on, on, on our on our devices. You know, um, even if you buy the whole unit, you know, it's, uh, we still have to uh, uh, re-solder and reconnect the uh, the leads. You know, all the wires uh, because it doesn't come like that from the factory. And uh, again, we usually build the units and we shelve it. And then we retest it. That's why we need five days if you order one of our units that's pre-built already, that's already assembled. Uh, we need about uh, uh, five days, you know, usually uh, to retest. So sometimes we, we build, we, we order the, the assembly, not for this, but this is the kit, you know. Uh, and as you can see, that's uh, the microcontroller that you can remove and replace if you want, okay? So that's good, you know. Uh, that's the uh, the transistor that controls the uh, everything, you know. And uh, so the microcontroller is it's it's on on a socket, so you can actually remove, disassemble the unit and remove the if you burn the chip for whatever reason, you know. And you can fix it yourself, you know, if you're handy around electronics. And so it's very nice, you know, so that it, that's what that's why we made this unit like that, you know. Very easy to assemble, very easy to troubleshoot. Uh, it's, Pretty much, you know, it's a done deal. You get, you get the the directions when you purchase our kit, so you can get the directions and uh, uh, on how to assemble it. More or less, it's, there's no big deal. Everything is printed on the board itself. So, so you get the board. Uh, if you get the unit with the casing, you could, you also get the the faceplate and the body itself of 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 the device. So I highly recommend that you do that. Some guys just to save a little bit of money, they don't order the, the the body of the device, and trust me, you know, you're better off ordering the body. Uh, and again, uh, this is the, as you can see on screen, it's a, it's a big diode, uh, not the diode, the big uh, capacitor that filters everything in there. Uh, everything it's, this unit has been tested and retested and, re, you know, a million times. In other words, you know, it's been out on the market for years already. It's, one, it's our best-selling tool, the PWM. So, I highly recommend it, you know. Uh, it's rock solid, uh, it'll last you a long, long time. If you're handy with electronics, you can actually fix it yourself, uh, there's no big deal. Whatever pops in there, you can, if it's a chip, you can remove it and you can buy the chip. The chip is not that expensive, I think it's like 10 bucks for the PWM chip. Uh, the transistor is another one This is very inexpensive. Usually the transistor is the one that blows, you know, whenever you, you make a mistake or if you try to test, because it, it handles up to like 50, 60 amps, you know, so it's a lot. Now on screen, uh, you can see this is a resistor. This is the current regulation resistor that we put. This is another uh, another device that we put on our, on our unit uh, to limit the current. So this is a protection device. This, this yellow wire goes to that. It's a protection device, and you're gonna see it probably later on, or the, I think I put it there on the, at the end of the video, uh, it's a big, big diode, uh, not, not a diode, resistor that you, that you put in there. These, these are helping hands, the little pieces that you see, the little clips in there, those are helping hands that, that I have. They're mag magnetized, magnetic, all that stuff you could buy. If you want the whole setup, you can buy it uh, 
you can buy it on Amazon, you know. Uh, and again, uh, so this is, uh, we're almost done with the assembly of the unit. Uh, uh, that's a big resistor. That gold piece you see in there on the uh, right-hand side, that's a current limiting resistor, okay? And that resistor, what it does is it limits the current. Now we are installing the uh, potentiometers. There's there are four of them, okay? And they, you, for, with that, you can control the duty cycle, the frequency, the output threshold, um, for, for the, um, and, and you can see that if you go to our website, uh, all these videos are there on our YouTube channel right here, ADP training. Uh, but if you don't want to look for them, just go to our website, uh, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com, do a Google search for automotive diagnostics and publishing. And what else can I tell you? You know, I can't make it any easier than that. Uh, and so that's the, <clears throat> those are the potentiometers, the controls uh, for the unit. Uh, then we assemble the whole thing. Again, this is not the same as the one that you buy when you buy the, the unit fully assembled. If you're a technician, buy the unit fully assembled. Don't buy uh, just to save a few dollars, you know, you buy this. This is for guys who know how to build stuff, okay? Uh, if you fix cars, you already know how what to do. You, feel, you fix cars. Uh, this is not really for you. A anyhow. So uh, this is pretty much the whole build for our units. This is heavily... Uh, sped up, you know, we sped up the, the video, I think about times eight, you know, eight, and, you know, eight, eight X. So, um, but it, 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 about an hour and a half, you could probably build the unit. Okay. Then, you know, once you know your way around it, then you test it and then whatever you have to do, uh, you should have an oscilloscope at least, you know, a very inexpensive one, a multimeter uh, and a voltage uh, regulator, regulated power supply, you know. Anyhow, we'd like to thank you for tuning in to our channel, ADP Training. Um, go to our website, and towards the end of the video, we're going to show you the unit already uh, completed, uh, what it looks like. You know? uh, and this is it. You know? so anyhow, we'd like to thank you for tuning in uh, to our channel, ADP Training. Go to our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. And, and as you can see, the unit is rugged, and it's, uh, you can test almost 90% or more of anything that's automotive. So uh, uh, right below the screen right now, you see like a little dollar sign if you want to donate. Uh, go to the description and you can also donate via PayPal if you want. Uh, whatever you need, because all these videos are free, you know. And this is a how-to for the for the kit, for do-yourself. Uh, but some of us, we have over 600 videos and over 200,000 subscribers, so uh, we appreciate you tuning in. So anyhow, thank you, uh, thank you for tuning into our channel and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.